What's up guys, it's your boy Desmond with The Lens here today for another video. Today we're going to be talking about what do these settings on your camera mean. Now on everyone's camera they're going to have a dial that have different images that means different things. In order for you to master your camera you need to know what each and every one of these things mean. Do you understand that on everyone's camera is going to be at a different location so exact, it's not going to be exactly how mine look but all the symbols mean the same thing. If you enjoyed this video make sure you take the time to like and subscribe. Now, starting at the bottom, I'm going to have a lightning bolt with a slash to it. That means that the camera is going to be full auto, but it's going to make sure that this flash does not pop. Or a man with a star in it means that it's going to be nighttime portrait photography. A man running, it's going to be sports mode. That meaning it's going to be for all of your sports. Your flower is going to be your macro, macro mode. Your mountains is going to be your landscape mode. And your person is going to be your portrait mode. Now understand, all of these settings are so that your camera controls everything. Meaning, whatever type of photography you're doing is what type of setting will work best for you. The green box means all full auto mode. Now, your camera decides everything on the flick of a wrist. It'll take a test shot, then it'll be ready for you to go. Next is going to be programmed auto. So all of these settings, your camera is going to take control over some of this, some of your triangle, which is your camera triangle. You're going to be you have your ISO, you're going to have your shutter speed as well as your aperture. Now, P stands for programmed auto, meaning it's going to adjust your aperture and your shutter together to get the best photo. Next is going to be TV or S, which is going to be shutter priority, meaning whatever you adjust your shutter speed to, it'll adjust the other two functions to make the best image. AV or A is going to be aperture priority. As you adjust your aperture, your shutter speed and your ISO will adjust to make sure that it gets the best picture. M is going to be for full manual mode, meaning you control everything. This is going to be for the more experienced photographer. This is what you do once you know what your triangle means. A deep is going to be for your app automated depth of field controls, which is going to control your aperture and your shutter speed together. Your C1, C2, and C3 are going to be for your camera custom settings. Whenever you're in a situation more than once, you're going to want to save the settings. That way you can flip to them really quickly to make your life a whole lot easier. For instance, I typically do headshot photography in studio. So my C1 is always set to an f-stop of 5.6, shutter speed of 160, and ISO of 100. That, that way I can always get the perfect picture that I am used to. But that is everything out of me, guys. Make sure you take the time to like and subscribe and let me know if you want more videos like this. Deuces.